going on everybody and welcome back to Quack Tuts. Today I just wanted to give you all my thoughts on this whole laid back Luke sound design drama that's been going on the past few days. If you're not familiar with it, laid back Luke was basically saying that sound design really isn't important. He said, quote, so many young producers mentioning sound design as a vlog topic they want to see from me. It's really not that important. Learn how to program beats, put things in key. How melodies work, arranging and finishing tracks first. Sound design will come much later. He also said, Knowing how to design sound is a luxury, not a necessity. It's fun, but you'll always suck compared to the professionals that design presets. Okay, fair enough. A lot of producers were quick to respond, some agreeing with them, some disagreeing with them, but what do I think? Well, as someone who runs a channel dedicated to showing people sound design, and someone who's put more time into learning sound design than any other aspect of music production, for the most part, I agree with him. Now having said that, I do think he could have worded that better. Saying that you will always suck compared to preset creators is just complete bullshit. When I first got into sound design, I was complete trash, as most people probably are. I couldn't make anything. Couldn't make a Lee, a Pluck, especially not dubstep sounds, forget about that. I couldn't make anything. So what did I do? I watched every single tutorial I could and I bought a ton of preset packs. I reverse engineered those presets, Learn the techniques that, that professionals that know what they're doing. Learn how they made these sounds, what techniques work, how to go about crafting these sounds. And I took those techniques and the things I learned, and I learned sound design. For years and years of experimenting, I learned sound design. Now I'm making presets that I'm able to help people just like me, who just want to make awesome, crazy sounds and just simply create music. And I think at the end of the day, overall, for all of us, our goal is to make music. We want to finish projects, get them out there, and have people simply listen to, enjoy, and appreciate our music. So if downloading presets that experienced sound designers have made helps you learn and actually make music, then who cares? What's the harm? Sound design is just another tool in the arsenal, another skill to improve your music. There are a lot more important aspects of music production than sound design. Now. I did say I mostly agree with him, there are a few ways in which I strongly disagree. I think sound design is much more important to some genres over others. The obvious example here being dubstep and bass music in general. In my opinion, when it comes to bass music, like dubstep, this includes rhythm because rhythm is dubstep, uh, drum and bass, neuro, all that stuff. When it comes to these genres, sound design is what really sets you apart and makes you stand out as a producer. Think of Noisia, AU5, Kill the Noise. Booty Good, Ola Sile. These are just some producers that are very successful and largely in part, in my opinion, to their sound design. When you hear a song by any of these artists, you instantly know it's them, and that's because of their unique and mind-blowing sound design. So again, definitely depends on the genre. Now when it comes to music like Laid Back Luke is making, I do think sound design is not very important. What's important there is knowing how to craft a song and a melody and a groove that portrays some kind of feelings, some kind of emotion, that's more important there in my opinion. So like I said, overall, I do agree with him, I just disagree with the notion that you'll never be as good as people that make presets for your readily use. I think that's just ridiculous. Anybody can get good at sound design through practice and experimenting and wanting to learn how to do it. But anyway, those are just my thoughts, I don't know if anybody cares or not. I just thought I'd make a video about it. I thought this definitely relates to this channel, so making a video about it would definitely be relative, so whatever. What do I know? Anyway, hit that subscribe button if you like. That'd be pretty cool. But I'll see you guys Sunday with a fresh tutorial on a pretty nasty serum base. See you later.